So the line's about to get underway. The referee, Aaron Williams, just thumbs up to the linesman and uh, the goalkeepers. The uh, whistle blows and we're off. Long ball forward and up into the uh, Stafford Rangers half. The ball is square. Ross Daly's got it as we restart. He's won the ball back in the centre circle. Mepin Walters with a long ball. Good, accurate ball forward towards Murphy, who wins the header to Whittam. Whittam, edge of the area, trying to find an angle for a shot, which he whiffs in from the uh, edge of the penalty area, but it hits the side netting and wide. Good positivity. Great ball forward there from Mepin Walters. Well claimed by Callan Murphy. Played into Whittam. Found an angle. Just couldn't find the direction. Just wide of the upright and behind for a goal kick. Still nil-nil. Smith. Gets a good flight on the ball into the box. Doesn't find a white shirt, though. It's headed away. Daly wins it back. Picked up here by Abadaki. Smith gets the ball back on the edge of the centre circle and then flights it into the edge of the 18-yard box. Taken down by Whittam. Bit of a chance for a shot. He takes it and it's just rising. It was a half chance, really. He was under pressure. Just got a little bit too much underneath it on that occasion and it's behind for a goal kick. Still nil-nil. See what they do as... Uh, as they line up and try and ensure that the defensive shape is rigid and good enough to defend it. It's a good header into the box and it's into the six-yard box before it's punched away by Mason, who was under pressure from Kiwamia. But in the end, the free kick is given. It's a free kick anyway for Geise on the edge of the centre circle. George Smith to take, floats it in towards the edge of the six-yard box, headed across the face by Eibel, does really well, but there's nobody there to win it. Smith wins the second phase really well up against Kiwamia. Courtney Mepin Walters, good cross into the box, up towards Chippendale, just over his head and claimed by the goalkeeper. Beautiful ball in there from Mepin Walters, outside of his uh, left boot, curled it in up towards uh, Callum Chippendale, and it's out for a... Uh, well, it was claimed by the goalkeeper, and as the ball goes swiftly forward up the other end, in the game at Ashton, where they're trailed to Radcliffe by a goal to nil. Nantwich have scored a second, by the way, so Liversedge, who were 1 0 up, are now 2 1 down. Ball into the box, and Chippendale goes down. There's a big shout. Fairly tentative from my point of view, but Chippendale is still protesting. Didn't see much from this angle. Courtney Mappen Walters has it on the halfway line, plays it in towards the edge of the 18 yard box. Goalkeeper goes to claim it, doesn't get it. Witten with a chance, flashes it past the upright. The goalkeeper. Cameron Belford came to claim the ball from Courtney Mepp and Walters. He didn't. And in fairness, the referee, you often expect to give the free kick. The goalkeeper dropped it. Whittam had it edge of the area. Got it just past the keeper, but couldn't get the target. And it's wide for a goal kick. And then in all of that, Callum Chippendale's coming to have a chat with the referee about the uh, penalty that he felt should have been awarded in all of that. When the goalkeeper fumbles, you just expect the whistle to go anyway because the referees feel sorry for the goalkeepers, is what it looks like. But he did ever so well. A little jink. Oh, poor head back here from Joe Smith. He's played it in. There's a chance here. What a tackle that is from Jamil Lee Eibel. I think he's taken a, a real brave challenge to dis dispossess Callum Saunders inside the box there. It was a header that was wrong from Joe Smith. He just misdirected it. Played perfectly into Callum Saunders. As he raced in on goal, there was Eibel to uh, launch at it. Up in the air again, Callum Murphy still battling after that. He wins the ball and plays it in towards Whitton, but a little nick takes it away from him. Smith again over the top. Callum Murphy looking for it. It's a good ball here. Whitton could get in on it. The challenge comes in. Stewart slides in and puts the ball out for a corner. But so... Nil-nil into stoppage time. I didn't see the board go up. It's uh, now three, we think. No, Dave thinks it's three. Um, so it's now with Boateng. Boateng plays it into to uh, Whelan. Whelan lays it off onto the right-hand side. Whittam into the box towards uh, Callan Murphy. Goal kick's given. Murphy's convinced it's something other. Whittam goes across to have a little chat with the assistant. The assistant's waving it away. It's going to be a goal kick. Another goal in the uh, in our division. And it's Belper Town who've equalised. It was a goal for Marine and then uh, quite a swift equaliser as well from Bay Belper just before the break. Take a bit for them to recover, wouldn't it? Just a bit. Seems like a long time since Steve Kittrick was in charge and we went to, we went to Belper and won 3-1. 
Clearance up in the air from uh, Cameron Belford. The referee calls time on a pretty disjointed sort of first half. Frenetic, some opportunities, but no shot on target yet from the Lions. The closest, really, the goal at either end has become threatened was um, perhaps when James O'Neill headed from a long throw onto the crossbar. Other than that, it's uh, not really looked too likely that the scoreline has been broken, though, well, though we've, had, we've had opportunities at both ends. At half time here, it's uh, guys in El Stafford nil. Who that they're lining up with here as we start? I'm sure that won't quite be the full thing with the Chippendale lining up on the left hand side of a midfield of four balls uh, out of play and it'll be a guysy throw in, in left back position as we get the second half underway another, another throw on the halfway line for Bridge as well in the second half goals starting to come maybe it'll be one here for the Lions they've got the ball into the box up towards Adam Hall chest it down a snapshot from the edge of the 18 area from uh, from Murphy and it kind of uh, isn't a clean connection. and it, it bounces through to the goalkeeper. Whelan gets the ball. Plays a lovely ball over the top. Chippendale with a good run into the area, but closed down. And then it almost bobbles past the goalkeeper as he gets a shot away. I'm not really sure he hit that with any conviction, but it's foxed at first attempt Cameron Belford. And then uh, it was comfortable for Belford to, to claim it didn't go towards the goal, unfortunately. Cleared as the Lions are squeezed again, but now it's Whittam on the ball in the halfway line. Goes past the defender, goes down the left hand side. He's got an overlap from George Smith. Whittam sticks with it, plays a lovely ball into Smith. Smith into the area, the flag goes up. The flag goes up. How on earth he was offside from that angle, from this angle, it does not look like it, but that was a frustration one because that was a lovely ball there from uh, Whittam and a, a really surging run there from George Smith. Yeah, as we did in the first half. and or George Smith doesn't often have to find himself in the area needing to shoot, does he? But he was, he was uh, for a moment there, he thought maybe that's the situation he was in. Adam Hall scurrying around trying to win the ball, but Stafford have won it back in the middle of the park. Good challenge comes in from Boateng. Stands in exactly the right place to frustrate the visiting attackers once again. Ball over down this right-hand side. Whittam's found a little bit of space. Edge of the penalty area. Still got the defender on him, O'Neill. Turns really well. Whittam with a shot. What a goal. Lewis Whittam foxes the defender, O'Neill. Finds the foot on the left-hand side of the net with his left foot. The Lions lead. 55 minutes gone. It's Geisley 1, Stafford 0. A moment of real quality in a game that has been crying out for it brilliant attacking play in the last few minutes by Geisley this time Lewis Whittam runs through into the area doesn't rush the shot doesn't rush the cross cuts back takes his time backed himself on his left foot and buried it in the far corner of the net that ball ought to run for it um, but we're still on the attack long throw into the box and Callum Murphy wins it he goes down referee's seen a trip and he gives a penalty to Geisley it was a long throw, Callum Murphy had won the header, he turned and then he went to ground. Couldn't see the trip from this angle, but uh, there's uh, a complaint from Jack Baxter. And uh, a penalty has been given and Courtney Meppen walters is stepping up to take this one. After this long pause of this penalty kick, referee going around the edge of the area, making sure everyone's out. It's a, as a pause in the ground, a hush in the ground, the whistle will go. Meppen Walters blasts it, puts it away. Foxes the goalkeeper, sends in the wrong direction. Cool as you like. It's Geisley 2. Stafford nil. Oh, Courtney, as we get the game back underway here. Uh, in the 64th minute, um, as, as I saw Courtney stride up, I wondered if it was something to do that, that with that, because it all seemed good-natured enough at the time. After the penalty was scored, Lewis Whittam didn't bother celebrating with the Geisley players. He went and stood in front of the goalkeeper and did a fake saving dive three, three odd times in front now of him. A chance here for Stafford. They're in the penalty and they're going to get the shot across the face of goal. It's held by the goalkeeper, Cameron Mason. Well, the corner it is, and uh, in the penalty area... It's uh, a little bit of a pushing and shoving. 
The man who came on for the uh, injured Joseph Dunn, Lewis Morris and Derbyshire in there. Ball goes in and it's not being cleared perfectly. Hall was almost onto it on the edge of the six-yard box. It's knocked out of play and I think it took a, a last touch off Adam Hall. It's going to be a throw into Stafford in left-back position. <laughs> if he focuses, I'm sure he can. <laughs> Guys are now watching for the uh, counter-attack here. Meppen Walters with a good tackle. Gets it to Eibel, but Eibel's lost out under a challenge from Baxter. He's into the box now with the, the shot from Saunders flying high over the bar. Callum Saunders had a sight of goal, took it out to the left-hand side, got his left foot right underneath it, and it flew over the angle of the crossbar on the upright and behind for a goal kick, thankfully. And then Ross Daly will cross into the box, but he's got his lines wrong there, but also has the defender. It's been won back. Adam Hall chases this one into the area. It's nodded back before he can get there by Burns, who anticipated the uh, movement of the ball. Got the chance to get our long throw in, but it's not equal to Tonks. Boateng goes short. Should get a chance to get this cross into the box. It's found Whittam now on the edge of the 18-yard box on the right-hand side. Tries to find an angle for his left foot. Gets a shot away. Flashes past the goalkeeper. The rebound has been put in. And it's Adam Hoare, the substitute who scores. With just five minutes to go to wrap this game up. And it's now Geisy 3, Stafford 0. Corner kick to Geisy, left-hand side. This one, a little shank goes into the box. It's not cleared, and it's put in! And is that Eibel? Who has scored to make it four? Jamil Eibel caps off a perfect performance with a fourth goal. Geisley 4, Stafford 0. Well, we see some games, don't we, where, where we put in a good performance and maybe don't get the scoreline we deserve. Over him. It's going to be picked up here by Wheel, and that'll be the last action of the game. And after a pretty dismal first half in which the Lions had uh, the majority of the play but couldn't find the net, and we feared a repeat of Tuesday, well, we were proven completely wrong. Four second-half goals caps off a perfect afternoon for the Lions and it's finished here Geisy 4 Stafford nil.